A suspected killer is a free man tonight re released on a technicality after a series of mistakes during the trial. So the families of two murdered women are left asking tonight who's going to pay for all their grief and loss. Carissa Planops here in studio with more on this case, a technicality, Carissa. Yeah, and just think these families have been waiting for a very long time for some sense of closure. Investigators say the suspect here killed two women outside a Phoenix convenience store in 2009 and then went on the run, sparking an international manhunt. He was eventually caught and put on trial, but the victim's family say what happened next was a complete miscarriage of justice. He took all my tomorrows away from me. I can never touch her, hug her, hear her voice, nothing. Donna Rangel hasn't been the same since losing her daughter, Joanna Lopez, in a shooting on May 31st, 2009. Today that wound is really big for me right now. Joanna and Crystal Arona were having a girls' night out when they stopped at the Quick Trip near 27th Avenue in Northern. Investigators say there was an argument with another group of people and Elton Hardiness pulled a gun and shot four women. Joanna and Crystal did not survive. Crystal's daughter, Marissa, was only 10 when her life was turned upside down. I missed all those times that I should have had with her. Nearly a decade later, the U.S. Marshals tracked down Hardiness in Mexico. The families were confident justice would be served, but the problem started with concerns a witness may have seen critical evidence on a prosecutor's laptop. The judge declared a mistrial despite objections from the prosecution and the defense. Now Hardiness cannot be retried because of double jeopardy, so he was released from jail. Sometimes the criminal justice system doesn't work as we hope it will. Mel McDonald, a retired Superior Court judge, says the judge's move to mistrial without either side asking for it was extremely rare. But he says he can understand her reasons for making that decision. I'm sure if she realized that this would be the consequence, she wouldn't have taken the action. Why can't a judge be um, held accountable? Crystal's cousin, Vernique Jenkins, says she's exploring ways to find some sense of justice. The families are torn apart knowing the suspect is back out there. It makes me so angry and sad that he's just going to go on with his life as if nothing happened. Like he didn't destroy, you know, hundreds of people's lives. The prosecutors could ask the Arizona Supreme Court to review this case, but in a statement today, the Maricopa County Attorney's Office said they don't believe that they would prevail on appeal. Guys, back to you.